Hello, it's Cathy here. Welcome to beautiful Chorleywood Common this early Monday morning. I was just walking along and I was thinking about money and often how we use money as an excuse. So as, as an excuse to stop us from being the contribution that we are here to be in the world. And I don't know about you, but if you are a, an entrepreneur or you know that you're here to make a, a bigger contribution and you've got that calling inside you that makes you kind of know that you've got to step up and get yourself out there and get your gifts out into the world to share with the world and you're telling yourself that you can't do it because of money because you don't have the money to invest in the support or you don't have the money to invest in the systems and processes that would make running your business smoother and easier if you're telling yourself that it's the money then that's actually a really big excuse and it you know you obviously you could be forgiven for that we've all got that as a, a great excuse that we can use but when you think about it money's just energy you're just energy the whole we are infinitely connected to this greater field of consciousness that is all energy and so from that perspective, from that quantum level, there is nothing separating you from money. So what, if it's not the money, if it's not, if you're not separate from it in, in the uh, energetic level and that you could call that money into you and manifest it because that's essentially who you are at that level, then it's got to be something else. It's not about the money. So if it's not about the money, what is it that's stopping you from receiving that money? What is it that is in the way of you being that contribution that you're here to make? So I started asking myself this around New Year as we, I was on my way walking up to a stone circle with a friend of mine in um, the Lake District up to Castle Rigg Stone Circle and I was getting really frustrated about money and she started singing it's not about the money 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 and for me it's really stuck in my head um, that so that any time now when I feel like I don't have the money to do something that I or to invest in a program that I want to do or systems and um, processes and support then I take a really good look at, well, okay, what is it that I'm stopping myself from doing if it's not about the money? What is it about? And I've discovered all kinds of different things. Like there was, a, I had a fear of overwhelm. What if suddenly my business just exploded and I couldn't handle all the work that would come in? Not just from uh, working with clients because that bit I think would be amazing um, but it's all the marketing and everything else that goes with running the business you know there's so much extra to do to keep your business running as well as doing the work that you know that you're really good at and other things that have come up is fear of rejection if I stepped into who I truly am and shared that with the world would I get rejected? Would I get ridiculed? Would I be judged? And so all of these things, and they, they might not even come from, you know, your childhood. We carry so many um, karmic things and stuff that we carry through our genetic lines, through our family, that we have imprinted into our psyche. Into We're carrying them as programs that actually stop us from stepping out and, and being who we know we truly can be. So as a question that for you to ask yourself, whenever you have money as an excuse that's stopping you from uh, investing in yourself or from, for really going for it and, in, and buying those systems and processes that would make your life easier, ask yourself, if it's not about the money, what is it about? why am I blocking myself and don't um, expect to get an answer in your head but send this question out to the universe send it out to that greater field of consciousness that you are connected to that is who you are because if you do that and you do it with a like a, a real sense of curiosity and openness and you expect 
the answer to drop in at some point, like we're in, maybe in the next few minutes, in the next hour, in the next day, maybe in the next week, if you keep asking the question, it will have to answer it for you because it's like you're, it, it, it would just get, the universe will go to work for you and your unconscious mind will go to work for you. It will find the answers and it will drop it into consciousness and so then you'll get some awareness. And when you've got awareness then you have choice. So it might be that I'm really afraid to step up and, and share this side of me. Uh, you know, it might well be about the judgment. And then you've got something to work with. Then you can start clearing those limiting beliefs. But until it's in your awareness, you can't do anything about it. And, and money still sort of stays away from you. So that's my tip for today is ask yourself if it's not about the money, what is it? So if you've found this useful, do please comment, please share and you know, sign up to my channel if you'd like to hear more tips and uh, tricks and information on consciousness and mindset. And um, yeah, that's, um, do please get in touch and I will see you next time. Bye.